I briefly want to talk to you about dementia, symptoms, causes, treatment, and a little bit about research. Dementia refers to loss of brain functions, such as memory, thinking, language, and the ability to care for oneself. It's due to a variety of brain diseases. Some of these are reversible. Most of them are irreversible. Symptoms are slowly progressive over time. In other words, they get worse. And the first step, of course, is to determine the nature of the dementia by getting a diagnosis. Because some of these symptoms are reversible, uh, blood tests and brain scans are done to ferret out those reversible causes, such as anemia, uh, uh, brain tumors, and other disorders of the blood or spinal fluid. Once that step is completed, doctors are left with a variety of irreversible brain disorders, such as Alzheimer's disease. Currently, there are no diagnostic tests to specifically pinpoint Alzheimer's and other irreversible dementias, but researchers are getting close to some biological tests. Right now, there are four FDA-approved drugs for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. They only work in about half the cases. They provide symptomatic relief. They, in essence, slow down progression, again, in only about half the cases. And therefore, the most important part of care and treatment is the human touch, patience, skill, compassion to provide a good quality of life for both the individuals with dementia as well as their family members. Um, because more than 5 million Americans have Alzheimer's disease alone right now, and the number is expected to double in the next 25 years, there's a great acceleration in research programs at centers around the United States and indeed the entire world. And so they're looking for the underlying causes, for better treatments, and ultimately prevention, which is the holy grail of any kind of medical research.